Now we can do some numericals relating vectors and uh, projectile motion. First question, the position of a particle is vector r equals 3t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 5 k cap where t is in second and r is in meter, find vector vt, velocity vector, acceleration vector, find the magnitude and direction of velocity vector at 1 second. Okay, so here position vector is given as vector r equal to 3t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 5k cap. Okay, here first we have to find out the velocity vector, vector vt. We know that velocity is rate of change of displacement. Here position is given. So, rate means dr divided by dt. Okay, dr by dt represents velocity or we can write delta r divided by delta t that is the velocity. So, dr divided by dt equal to we can write d by dt. This is called a differentiation with respect to time. Okay, so d by dt is r, d by dt of r. What is r? 3t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 5k cap. Now, we can multiply d by dt inside. This can be written as d by dt of 3t i cap plus d by dt of 2t square j cap plus d by dt of 5k cap. Now, we can see some new formula relating this differentiation. First formula is d by dt of t raised to n power t raised to n d by dt of t raised to n is the formula is n into t raised to n minus 1 ok d by dt of t raised to n is this power comes first n into t raised to n minus 1 and again one more formula you have to by heart d by dt of any constant d by dt of a constant is equal to 0 so these are the two formula relating differentiation d by dt of t raised to n is n into t raised to n minus 1 and d by dt of a constant is equal to 0. So, using this formula we can write d by dt of 3t i cap. How will you write d by dt of 3t i cap can be written as 3 into d by dt of t that is 1 is not it. So, 3 i cap plus d by dt of 2 t square. So, 2j cap can be written. What is this d by dt of t square? d by dt of t square power. So, power into 2 into t raised to 2 minus 1, is not it? So, it is 2 into t raised to 2 minus 1, which is 1. Plus, what is d by dt of 5k cap? 5 is a constant. It does not depend on time. So, d by dt of a constant is equal to 0. So, velocity vector is 3i cap plus 4t j cap. This is the velocity vector. Velocity vector is given by 3i cap plus 4t j cap. Clear? Now, how do you find out the acceleration? You can find out the acceleration. Second one, acceleration. Acceleration at time t. Acceleration is rate of change of velocity. So, that is d by dt of velocity is v. Okay, d by dt of v is equal to d by dt of what is velocity? We got the velocity as 3i cap plus 4, 3i cap plus 4t j cap. Clear? Is equal to we can multiply d by dt of 3i cap plus d by dt of 4t j cap. What is d by dt of 3i cap? 3 i cap that is a constant. So, d by dt of a constant is equal to 0 plus d by dt of 4 t j cap. So, that is 4 j cap into d by dt of t means 1. So, acceleration is given by acceleration vector a t is equal to 4 j cap. Okay, so, these are the val values of a velocity vector at acceleration vector time t. Now, third one is find the magnitude and direction of velocity vector at 1 second. We got the velocity vector as, what is the velocity vector? We got 3 i cap plus 4 t j cap, is not it? So, velocity vector we got as 3 i cap plus 4 t j cap. We have to find out the magnitude and direction at 1 second. So, at 1 second, how will you write at 1 second, velocity can be written as, substitute the value of t as 1 second. So, it is 3 i cap plus 4 j cap. Okay, so, at 1 second velocity can be written as 
3 i cap plus substitute t equal to 1 so 4 j cap we have to find out the magnitude how will you find out the magnitude of this velocity velocity magnitude of magnitude is given by magnitude is this can be written as uh, v x i cap plus v y j cap if it is like that magnitude is given by root of okay 3 square plus 4 square so it is actually root of a square plus b square plus 2 a b cos theta okay a means 3 square b means 4 square plus 2 a b cos theta means what is theta there what is the angle between i and j 90 degree isn't it so that last term gets 0 and the magnitude is given by root of 3 square plus 4 square and it is given by root of 9 plus 16 and root 25 will get and it is equal to 5 meter per second so magnitude of velocity is given by 5 meter per second clear now direction of uh, the velocity okay direction of velocity direction is usually given by tan alpha that you know tan alpha is b sin theta divided by a plus b cos theta that is a general formula here theta means the angle between the two vectors a and b here these are the two vectors what is the angle between the one along the x direction and another along the y direction therefore its angle is 90 degree so this theta becomes 90 okay so here tan alpha becomes b by a that is what is b here 4 divided by 3 so tan alpha is given by 4 divided by 3 so the direction of velocity vector is given by tan alpha equal to 4 by 3 question a cricket ball is thrown at a speed of 28 meter per second in a direction 30 degree above the horizontal calculate maximum height time taken by the ball to return to the same level distance from the thrower to the point where the ball returns to the same level okay so this is a question relating projectile so what are the values given a cricket ball is thrown at a speed of 28 meter per second so 28 meter per second that is initial velocity is equal to 28 meter per second clear and in a direction 30 degree above the horizontal okay so from the horizontal it is projected so this is a projectile it is projected at a velocity of 28 meter per second at an angle what is the angle at an angle uh, how much 30 degree above the horizontal so from the horizontal it is projected at an angle 30 degree so what is theta theta is 30 degree angle of projection theta is equal to 30 degree isn't it now we have to find out calculate the maximum height now the time taken by the ball to return to the same level and the distance from the thrower to the point where the ball returns to the same level we can take g what is the value of g 9.8 meter per second square acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 now how will you find out the maximum height we know maximum height this represents a maximum height so these are the formula relating projectile maximum height is given by v0 square sin square theta divided by 2g isn't it so we have the formula for maximum height hm is equal to v0 square sin square theta divided by 2g we can substitute all the values so v0 is 28 square into sin square theta means 30 so sin square 30 divided by 2 into 9.8 clear sin 30 what is the value of sin 30 1 by 2 so it can be written as 28 square into 1 by 2 the whole square that is 1 by 4 1 by 4 into 2 into 9.8 after simplification you get the answer as what is that answer 10 meter okay now second one time taken by the ball to return to the same level that means time taken by the ball to return to the same level that is from initial point to final point that is we have to find out the total time of flight okay total time taken by the projectile from initial to final and time of flight is given by the formula what is the formula for time of flight 2 v0 sin theta by g clear now we can substitute time of flight tf equal to 2 v0 sin theta divided by g 
is equal to 2 into V0 that is 28 into sin theta that is sin 30 divided by 9.8 is equal to 2 into 28 into sin, the, sin 30 is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 into 9.8 and after simplification the answer is 2.9 second. Then number 3. Distance from the thrower to the point where the ball returns to the same level. Distance from the thrower to the point where the ball returns to the same level. That means we have to find out this distance. Distance from the initial point to the final point that is called the range. So, range is given by the formula. We have the formula for range r equal to v0 square sin 2 theta by g, isn't it? So, our range is equal to v0 square sin 2 theta divided by g. You can substitute the values v0 that is 28 square into sin 2 theta. Theta is 30. So, 2 theta is sin 60 divided by g that is 9.8 equals 28 square into sin 60 is root 3 by 2, isn't it? So, root 3 by 2 into 9.8 and after simplification you get the answer as 69 meter. Ok children, prove that maximum horizontal range is 4 times the maximum height attained by the projectile when fired at an inclination so as to have maximum horizontal range. So once more I will read the question, prove that maximum horizontal range is 4 times the maximum height attained by the projectile. Okay, when fired at an inclination so as to have maximum horizontal range. In order to have the maximum horizontal range, we know that angle of projection or angle of inclination is given by what is that angle? 45 degree. Okay, so at 45 degree. So, angle of inclination or uh, projection is given as 45 degree because to have maximum horizontal range that is given in the question. Clear? Now, we have the range formula, maximum range formula is V square, V 0 square divided by G. Okay. So, R maximum is equal to V 0 square divided by G. Now, maximum horizontal range, this is maximum horizontal range and maximum height, what is the maximum height? We have the height given by V 0 square sin square theta divided by 2G. We have maximum height is given by V0 square sin square theta divided by 2G. Here theta is 45 degree. Okay, we can substitute theta is equal to 45 degree. So V0 square sin square theta that is 45 divided by 2G. Sin 45. Now what is the value of sin 45? Sin 45 is 1 by root 2. Isn't it? 1 by root 2 the whole square. So, V0 square 1 by root 2 the whole square divided by 2G. Clear? So, it is equal to V0 square divided by root, square, root 2 the whole square is 2. Hmm? So, 2 into 2 4G. So, what, what is V0 square by G? V0 square by G is R maximum. So, we can write HM is equal to 1 by 4 into R max. Now come to the question, prove that the maximum horizontal range is 4 times the maximum height. So, maximum horizontal range that is R max is equal to, what is R max? R max is equal to 4 times the maximum height. Okay, this one the, that is asked in the question, prove that maximum horizontal range is 4 times the maximum height. So, maximum horizontal range is 4 times the height. Okay, children. Next question, two balls are thrown with same initial velocity at angles theta and 90 minus theta with the horizontal. What will be the ratio of maximum heights attained by them? So, two balls are thrown with the same initial velocity. So, that means V0 remains same, initial velocity remains same. Okay. And first one is uh, thrown at an angle theta and second one at the 90 minus theta with the horizontal. So, for the first ball, for the first ball initial velocity is V0 and uh, it is thrown with an angle theta. 
and second ball is thrown with an angle what is that angle 90 minus theta okay so we have to find out the ratio of the maximum height we have the maximum height given by the formula v0 square sin square theta divided by 2g so the maximum height attained by the first ball let it be hm1 equal to v0 square sin square theta divided by g and maximum height attained by the second ball is hm2 equal to v0 square sin square what is the angle here for the second ball angle is 90 minus theta isn't it sin 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 square 90 minus theta divided by 2g okay 2g here okay children so maximum height attained by the first ball is v0 square sin square theta by 2g maximum height attained by the second ball is v0 square sin square that angle is 90 minus theta in the question itself it is given 90 minus theta divided by 2g now it is equal to v0 square sin sin 90 minus theta what is sin 90 minus theta it is cos theta okay trigonometric value sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so v0 square cos square theta divided by 2g okay sin 90 minus theta is cos theta since it is sin square here we can write cos square theta divided by 2g at hm1 no change v0 square sin square theta divided by g we have to find out the ratio isn't it so hm1 divided by hm2 equal to v0 square sin square theta divided by g the whole divided by v0 square cos square theta divided by g clear v0 square v0 square cancel g and g get cancel so it becomes sin square theta divided by cos square theta sin theta by cos theta is tan theta isn't it so it is tan square theta Okay, HM1 divided by HM2 equals tan square theta. That is the answer. Is fired with a velocity of 10 meter per second in a direction making an angle 30 degree with the vertical. Calculate the time of flight and maximum height reached by it. So, bullet is projected with a velocity. What is the velocity? Third, uh, 10 meter per second. 10 meter per second in a direction making 30 degree with the vertical so from the vertical it makes an angle 30 degree so this angle is 30 degree okay so usually the angle of projection means angle with the horizontal is considered as angle of projection clear so this here the in the question it is 30 degree the with the vertical is given so what is the angle of projection here angle of projection is this one theta which is 90 minus 30 clear children so here from the vertical it is 30 degree that means from the horizontal it is 90 minus 30 so here angle of projection is given by 90 minus 30 which is equal to 60 degree do not get confused here 30 degree is the angle with the vertical usually angle of projection means angle with the horizontal we have to take so it is 60 degree clear now all the values are given initial velocity v0 is equal to 10 meter per second so acceleration due to gravity g equal to 10 meter per second square okay now we have to find out the time of flight we have the time of flight given by the formula tf equals what is the formula for time of flight time of flight is 2 v0 sin theta divided by g so here we can substitute 2 v0 sin theta divided by g so 2 into what is the value v0 10 into sin theta theta is 60 60 divided by g which is 10 equals 2 into what is sin 60 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 okay so it is equal to answer is root 3 and which is given by 1.73 so time of flight tf equals 1.73 seconds part we have to find out the maximum height we have the maximum height formula v0 square sin square theta divided by 2g what is v0 10 square sin square theta 60 divided by 2 into g which is 10 is equal to we can substitute 100 into sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so root 3 divided by 2 the whole square divided by 2 into 10 
0 0 get cancelled so it becomes 10 into root 3 that is 3 root 3 the whole square which is 3 divided by 4 into 2 ok so it is equal to 2 5 5 5 15 divided by 4 2 and 10 get cancelled here it becomes 5 5 into 3 15 divided by 4 and after simplification you will get 3 0.75 meter. So, maximum height is 3.75 meter. So, this is the only change here if the angle is 30 degree with the vertical you have to take 90 minus that corresponding angle. Okay. So, angle should be from the horizontal that is the main thing you have to remember. Okay children.